Are you using the NativeScript RAD data form and you need to update the fields programmatically? I'll show you how to do that in this short video. Hey everybody, this is Alex from nativescripting.com. If you want to learn more about NativeScript, hit on the subscribe button and the little bell so you don't miss anything. Just a real quick tip today from a project, a real world project that I was working on. A client is using the professional NativeScript UI components and is using the RAT data form from that. And one of the requirements was they needed to take in some input and update the fields in the RAT data form programmatically. Well, there is an open issue that's been open for a while on GitHub about that specific problem that people are having and there is no solution for it yet. However, there is a workaround. So I will show you that right now. By the way, if you're using data form extensively, I go pretty deep into using the data form and creating custom editors for it in the NativeScript with Angular Pro course on nativescripting.com. So check that out. All right, let's do this. Okay, so I've set up a really simple test. Here is a main page. I have my usual stack layout here, just like we do in a demo application with a tap button. And I have this rad data form down here bound to this data source, which is a form model. Let's look at the main view model. This is really simple, folks. Okay, so we have a form model. It has only one property on it. So the form is auto-generated, which is really cool. So here is the page, and here is our button, and here is our form with one field in it. And right now it says, hello world, and it automatically determines the name, the label for that based on the property name. So when I tap the button, I want to programmatically update that field, the value. Well, I can do all sorts of things with a data form. I can change the colors of the label, change the font of it, change the label itself, but I cannot yet change this programmatically. So here's the workaround. The first thing I need to do is actually get a hold of my data form in code. If you want to manipulate it programmatically, you're going to have to do that. So let's go out to the main page code file, and I'm just going to clean this up a little bit. And now that we have our page, I'm going to get view by ID and pass in the ID of that data form, which is my data form. I'll just copy this. So this will give me the data form. I'm going to go ahead and cast it as a data form. It's actually a red data form. Where is my IntelliSense? Okay, so I'm going to have to import it manually. I don't actually need to cast this here because I'm going to be using this in my view model. But for completeness, let's do it. And that's coming from native script UI data form. And I'm going to pass this data form into my hello world view model. Now, I don't like doing this. I like to keep my UI separate from the view model. But for the demo's sake, I'm going to do this. So hello world view model constructor is going to accept the data form. There we go. This time that worked. So we need to call super here. And I'm going to make this private so I can access it in the rest of my code here. All right, now that we have a hold of the data form in our on tab function, we can say this dot data form and do all sorts of things with it. What do we need to do? Well, we can't just go in there and say, okay, let's update that one field. There is no API for that yet. So we need to reload it. But before we reload it, we want to change the title so we know that something changed. Well, what can we do? Can we say this dot form model dot title equals high? This is what I first tried when I was doing this. So I say tap and nothing happens. Okay. Then you say, okay, this is an observable class, right? So I should actually be using the set here. Well, how do you set a complex object? I just want to set the title property of a complex object that's part of the observable. So you say this dot set, and you give it the name of the property that's observable. And then we need to pass something in here. All right, can I pass in title? Hi, let's give that a try. All right, my app restarts. And yes, there we go. So this is a new object you passed in. Sometimes your form is not going to be this simple, right? It might have a lot of other properties. So what you want to do first is go ahead and create a new constant here. First, you want to do a clone of the existing form model. And then you want to change that one property only. Hi there. And then let's pass in this new form model into the form model set here. So this will do the same thing. It'll still work, which is great. But keep in mind that you're going to be reloading the data form every time. So that means that if you have the data form focused, and if you hit tap, you're going to lose that focus. So this is not the cleanest approach to doing it, but it is a workaround. I've been searching for this. I want to share this with you. All right. Well, there you go, folks. Hopefully that helps somebody out. 
keep an eye out for that open github issue that's still open but hopefully it'll be fixed soon i'll link to it down below and i have a question for you which ui professional ui components from native script do you use do you use the data grid do you use the charts what do you use comment down below or send me a tweet i'm at digitalix and don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you want updates about native script all right i'll see you later